scientific computing or micro reaction technology man has been challenging the unknown frontiers of science new technologies are impacting every aspect of our life such scientific growth needs not just genius and passion but infrastructure trained manpower and interdisciplinary support this is where ncl steps in national chemical laboratory pune a flagship laboratory of the council of scientific and industrial research a premier research development and consulting organization sharply focused on chemistry and allied areas csir ncl is committed to research and development leading to new products in the market National Chemical Lab is not only engaged in high-end science, but also engaged in a development of technology for the nation. We have also a very important agenda to ensure that the Indian industries remain competitive at a global level, and NCL is committed to helping the Indian industries to achieve that. NCL was inaugurated by the then Prime Minister, the visionary Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. The presence of six Nobel laureates at the inauguration set the tone. Over the years, CSIR NCL has remained committed to creating wealth for the nation and enhancing the quality of life. Spread over 500 acres, NCL houses 700 dedicated personnel. Of these, 300 are highly qualified scientists or engineers. 550 students pursuing doctoral research. It's a select team of qualified and committed individuals. CSIR NCL, a global leader with super specialities. Its strength, a large interface between chemistry biology, materials science, and engineering. The Organic Chemistry Group, a team of synthetic chemists with focus on synthesis of molecules with commercial value, process chemistry, custom synthesis, isolation of natural products and evaluation of bioactivity is the thrust. Synthesis of new chemical entities with clinical potentials is another prominent activity that benefits several leading pharmaceutical companies in India. This group is researching asymmetric total synthesis of biologically relevant natural products and design molecules, new synthetic methodology and carbohydrate chemistry. The bioorganic group is also involved in the synthesis of oligonucleotides, peptide mimetics, synthetic foldamers and biocatalysis with their potential biomedical applications, their activities backed by high-end equipment. Complex fluids and polymer engineering focuses on comprehending the links between the microstructure of complex fluids and their fluid and solid state properties. The result, innovative solutions in materials processing and performance. The group is currently researching macromolecular architecture to processing links, flow of dense suspensions and granular media, and mesophase templated synthesis of nanomaterials. The goal is clear, providing fundamental understanding of structure property relationships for materials and using that understanding to develop products. State of the art equipment enhance performance. The Heterogeneous Catalysis Group at NCL is known worldwide for its work in petrochemicals. The catalysts studied include metal oxides, zeolites, 
metallosilicates, mesoporous and mesotextured materials and supported nanometals. Catalysts are designed for a range of chemical transformations. This group has initiated key research programs. Carbon monoxide free hydrogen generation from natural gas, LPG and bioalcohols for fuel cell applications. Motor tail end emission control. Utilization and conversion of carbon dioxide into biodegradable polymers. Fuels and chemicals from biomass. The group conducts frontier research on catalysis including surface chemistry. A solid catalyst and continuous process for producing biodiesel and biolubricants from low-grade vegetable oil has been developed and licensed. CSIR NCL's unique venture, the Materials Chemistry Group, a rare synergy of solid-state chemists and condensed matter physicists. The group works on materials ranging from tough ceramic oxides to soft monolayers and monolayer protected clusters. Its goal to design and synthesize new ceramic materials for application in magnetic, optical, electrical and electronic gadgets. Advanced facilities aid its path-breaking work in hybrid nanostructured materials for several new applications including solar power and fuel cell research. Polymer Science and Engineering Group Another unique venture of CSIR NCL Correlating the methods of synthesis of organic macromolecules to objectives of materials science the group uses several chemistries such as radical anionic metal catalyzed polymerization and step growth polymerization to study molecular as well as supramolecular structure. The goal to gain better understanding of structure to property relationships. The group is researching electroactive and biomimetic polymers and new capabilities in controlled polymerization techniques and polymers for biomedical applications. <laughs> Nanomaterials Science and Technology CSIR NCL's seminal contribution to conventional and emerging technologies. It investigates the synthesis, assembly, properties and most importantly, the commercial application of nanomaterials. This group also investigates the role of nanomaterials as the interface between chemistry and biology. This group is researching new methods for nanoparticle synthesis, organic molecule nanoparticle hybrids and applications of nanomaterials. State-of-the-art facilities enhance performance. Theory and Computational Science interfaces theoretical chemistry with major disciplines of science to develop new algorithms for fundamental understanding of different phenomena at atomic and molecular level. The group is also working on simulations of molecular and colloidal glassy materials and silk-based biomaterials. Chemical engineering and process development is organized in four major units Catalysis, Reactors and Separations Unit, Process Development and Scale Up Unit, Biochemical Engineering Unit, and Chemical Engineering Science Unit. The Catalysis, Reactors and Separations Unit works for better catalysts, improved reactors, and innovative separation processes. Its key activity Process intensification and development of continuous processes for specialty chemical sector. Expertise in homogeneous catalysis. High pressure reactions including supercritical conditions, multi-phase reactors, micro reactors and process separations is the hallmark. Research includes many industrially relevant reactions. Significant work has been initiated in carbon dioxide activation and utilization and conversion of waste biomass to useful chemicals. 
a first of its kind industry consortium has been established. State of the art computational models are developed and used for performance enhancement. Several key facilities are available with the group. A range of high pressure reactors, micro reactor rigs, pilot scale cold flow facilities and state of the art analytical facilities. The process development and scale up unit has harnessed reactive distillation and other multifunctional reactor concepts. Chemical engineering science has expertise in modeling and simulating catalytic reactions, engineering and process optimization. It harnesses the fundamentals of chemical engineering. Current research includes fault detection and identification and control of chemical engineering systems, global optimization techniques, studies of complex systems and their dynamics, non-linear dynamics and chaos theory, and artificial intelligence. The Biochemical Engineering Group works on diverse areas related to biotechnology and bioprocessing. A major activity, value addition to plantation crops and residues for the production of chemicals and energy and isolation of high value chemicals from natural plant and animal resources. Chemical biology, dedicated to understanding organic chemical mechanisms underlying biological processes. This group utilizes its know-how to create new molecules and materials with novel bio-properties. Its strength, interfacing chemistry with biology and material science. Its goal, contributing to the development of novel therapeutic, diagnostic and functional materials. Sophisticated facilities enhance its functioning. Ongoing research includes characterization of enzymes in isoprenoid biosynthetic pathways, antisense agents to block gene expression, and development of chimeric and hybrid peptides as novel enzyme inhibitors. Developing novel and practical synthetic routes to inositol derivatives and DNA nanotechnology for generation of functional devices through periodic assemblies of nanoparticles on DNA template is another area of work. Biochemical Sciences has many arms. Enzymology and Microbiology, Plant Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, and Plant Tissue Culture. Enzymology and Microbiology uses the power of biochemistry to study structure-to-function relationships of important enzymes, microbial, and plant biomolecules. It applies integrated knowledge of proteomics, genomics, and bioinformatics. The thrust areas are healthcare, industries in textile, paper and leather and agriculture. Ongoing research covers development of pesticides, fungicides, extremophilic enzymes and endophytic fungi for secondary metabolites as lead molecules for drug development. Its laboratories are equipped with high-end facilities. Plant Biochemistry and Molecular Biology works to develop genetic tools for agriculture and health. It aims at genetic improvement of plants for enhanced productivity and quality. Research is being conducted in Host, Pest and Pathogen Interactions Characterization and Exploitation of Proteinase Inhibitor Genes Molecular Markers for Agronomically Important Traits and Bioprospecting Plants from the Western Ghats. NCL's Plant Tissue Culture is dedicated to the research and development of cost-effective techniques and technologies 
for rapid and mass scale propagation of superior genotypes or novel hybrids of economically viable plants and trees. Oil seeds, medicinal plants and pines are other focal areas. Central NMR facility. It provides technical support to scientific activities of the laboratory. It carries out research on applications of NMR spectroscopy in diverse areas of chemical, biological and materials sciences. The primary users of the NMR facility are from the research community within the laboratory besides other institutions and industries across the country. National Collection of Industrial Microorganisms is dedicated to the isolation, collection, preservation and distribution of authentic cultures of industrially important microorganisms. It's an impressive collection, 3,700 microbial strains of bacteria, yeast, fungi and algae. With modern facilities of lyophilization, NCIM is equipped for long-term preservation of specialized cultures and microbiological testing of samples. Catalyst Pilot Plant optimizes and upgrades processes for solid catalysts, prepares and supplies catalysts developed by CSIR NCL and customizes synthesis of zeolites, metal oxides, spinels and other solid catalysts from small to large quantities. It is also equipped for the process optimization of petrochemical, petroleum reactions and value addition to renewable feedstocks as alternative fuels and energy. Center for Materials Characterization advances chemical research by exploring information on the structure and physico-chemical properties of materials. Major goals include structural elucidation, characterization and analysis of chemical composition and undertaking contract research projects in specific areas for government and industries. The Digital Information and Knowledge Resource Center helps scientists to be in the forefront in their chosen area of research. Business Development and NCL Innovations links CSIR, NCL and the market. It acts in tandem with scientists, industries, government financial institutions, statutory bodies and focuses on the client's unique needs. The list of clients both national and international is impressive. CSIR NCL is a leader. It publishes nearly 400 research papers in chemical sciences every year. Files a large number of patents both in India and abroad and produces an impressive number of PhDs in chemical sciences in India. NCL's scientists are recipients of several eminent awards and honors. Look at NCL, it has an academic component, it has high fundamental science, technology delivery, as well as commercialization of technologies. We are looking at the entire spectrum in this laboratory and I think that is, is NCL actually is one of the very few laboratories under CSIR and in the nation which is trying to do each of these with a, with a high, high degree of finesse and high, high quality. CSIR NCL, mapping new frontiers in chemistry in the service of the nation, standing tall on the pillars of knowledge, innovation and experience.